This is Jeff with uh, Ghostly Concerns Paranormal. We are out of Clovis. <clears throat> we are, well, actually I am. Um, a couple months back in March, I went ahead and saw this advertised on the web. There was a pre-sale. I jumped on it. It's called the Paranormal Puck 2. Now, I know from dealing with um, a previous group I was with at Michigan, the Paranormal Puck is incredible. <laughs> They are really expensive, hard to get now, if you can even find them, and it works wonders. <clears throat> the Paranormal Puck 2 um, is a lot better. Um, not that Paranormal Puck was bad, but this is like basically got all the bells and whistles. Um, <clears throat> a couple things. Um, when I first got it, I immediately was excited. It came very securely packed in a big, a, a big box. Um, they actually threw in this case, which is really, really, I mean, it's very sturdy. Um, you can drop this thing if I've already done it because I'm a klutz. It actually locks with a screw here. If you see the little screw pops open, it comes packed like this. So, I mean, this is the puck. Um, this is the bottom. Four lights. Top. USB switch right there, and the on-off right there. Um, it actually comes with a cable. Um, it's a micro USB. Pulls out uh, both ends. As you can see, it's a larger USB and then the standard USB to go into your uh, PC. Right now, um, all that they're doing is supporting uh, for charging. Um, Hopefully, later on, it will be that, like the puck, you can actually use the PC. This is Bluetooth. Uh, I haven't checked the distance yet, um, but it uh, appears to be pretty uh, pretty good. Um, when I first got it, I have an Amazon Fire tablet. And in case you don't know the Amazon Fire, uh, they're very proprietary in their software. Um, I had to alter mine to actually use Google Play. Um, I don't encourage doing this unless you trust the app you're getting. Why does it always never fail? Whenever I'm on doing, trying to do a a broadcast, never ever fails that somebody always calls. Can you answer, please? There you go. Hi. Um, so anyway, um, after emailing them. Um, Bill responded really, really quick. Um, I was really impressed. It was actually from Bill um, himself, which really says a lot about the company. He immediately offered me a refund if I couldn't get it up and running. He told me a couple things I didn't know. They're currently supporting over 11,000 different Android devices. They're currently working on um, iOS. Um, they hope in the future to support it, the PC. And the really coolest thing is he offered me a refund immediately if it wasn't going to work. You know, that was really nice. That says a lot about, of course, about, um, about me, about his company, I mean. Um, also, um, I sent him a second email. And I asked about uh, why there wasn't really good sound coming from this. Because when it alarms... I would expect like a big speaker <clears throat> so you can hear like you know if it's sitting off in the distance um they use this thing called a piezo speaker and the reason is they didn't want anything major to interfere with the sensors this has sensors for everything and i'm going to show you that in a moment. um so um anyway i finally found an android tablet i have um and i got it to work on that so, first of all, when you cut it on, uh, after you uh, yeah. get it, now this is still a pre-release, so if you get it, I, I waited from March until June to get mine. The reason I keep itching is because I got allergies. It's driving me nuts down in New Mexico. The dust is crazy. You'll get this screen. And he goes through it and everything, and, and he's really nice. Um, everything Bill makes is gold. Uh, I've seen some of the prices for some of the other stuff he's, he's made, like the Obelisk, um, 
the, it just, it's incredible the stuff he makes. He's such a talented guy. So when you come on, you're going to cut it on, okay? Um, and what's going to happen is it's going to search for device. Now, I will tell you this. This is more my issue with the phone probably than the puck. Um, <clears throat> what happened was every time I have to restart my phone often. The reason for being is connection is broken. I keep getting connection is broken. Um, it has more to do with the phone than the puck. So I'm restarting the phone and that happens. Takes forever to restart phone, sorry. You'd think they'd make a phone that would be instant on, wouldn't you? So, okay. So, alright, so anyway, I'm going to flip this on, and of course you'll hear it. It'll make little sounds, you can hear it. And it lights up like this. Lights are lighting up like this. And I'm going to hit puck. That's searching for devices, as you can tell. Okay, it's up. Now, once it start, connects, you'll get that screen and this. Okay, it stops making the noise. Now, I'm going to go start out here. This is your home screen, of course. This is minimum maximum. Now, this, if you look at it, will actually tell you the temperature, minimum, maximum. Um, you can actually, at the bottom of here, you can see what the, of course, I just started mine, so it won't do that. Uh, you can click and see the minimum temperature was, maximum that it was. It's 82 degrees in there, by the way. Home screen always brings you back to home, of course. Don't hit the back button, because if you do on a lot of phones, you will get the connection broke, all right? <clears throat> this is your data. The first two I'm showing you, it actually registers, it registers, I can't talk, registers temperature and humidity. <clears throat> so I like to put my stuff through the paces. So what I did was um, I actually took it um, and put it, just placed it on the sink while I was taking a shower to check the humidity. Sure enough, it went up. Um, uh, temperature, humidity, both. I actually stuck it outside. Temperature went up. I put it in front of the air conditioner. Temperature went down. Barometric pressure I haven't been able to check yet. Um, static energy level. Um, those are just three of the rest of the centuries. Let me show you some more. So you hit your home button again. Go to data two. Magnetic level, movement, and light level. So magnetic level, uh, if something comes near it, I took magnets. It registers. Um, Movement, you can watch it here. I'll actually shake it a little bit. See the movement moving? I'm just shaking it like this. And it does work. And then light said light level. Now, the light level I have been experimenting with. So, light level I've been working on. Um, as you can see, it's going up a little bit. I think that's more to work better in total darkness. So that's some of the sensors. Um, they're going to be adding more. Now, if you want to review at the end of the day um, or, you know, look at them, you can actually hit the log button. I'm going to show you all the buttons and where all they are here in a second. This you can actually set the voices. Now, if you listen to voice, Hold on, let me cut the volume up. You can set it slow, fast. You can set it for male, female, child, whatever you want, really. What's good for you. Um, when you get it, he actually explains what all the little buttons, the BA, MA, all those are at the bottom are. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out these buttons right here yet, the little three right there, LCD. 
but LED, I'm sorry, but he will eventually uh, explain that, I'm sure, or he may have, and I just don't get it. Um, alarms, this you can actually set what you basically want it to do when it picks up something it picks up. I've got mine set for all the alarms to go of light and sound, so I'll hear it. Um, that's in case if I monitor from a remote location uh, or another room or whatever, um, I'll hear it go off on my phone or I can actually hear it other investigators. All right? um, alarms on maximum, I've got mine set up. And the cap, uh, the cap, it's this capture. You can actually do a picture, it stores it to your SD card. Video, um, he says, will be up and coming. Now, the only complaint I have, and again, in defense of the Puck 2, it's not his fault, I'm sure. If you remember the Puck, uh, the Puck actually had a feature where you could type a question and it would answer the question. So, the thing about it is you can set it, this button right here, the slider, if you look, you can basically set it to how sensitive you want it to be. Uh, if you think of anybody, any of y'all ever used a ghost radar, uh, it's basically like low, medium, high, and advanced to a point. Um, I keep mine about right there. Now, I'm going to ask a question. I'll show you what I mean. Now, keep in mind, and this is probably my fault more than the puck. Um, I've got a light going, i got a computer going, i got the puck itself. If you're in the background, I've got a fan going, it's hot down in New Mexico. i got a fax machine. So there's a lot of electrical equipment, and no matter what, all this stuff basically registers equipment because that's the way it works. So I'm going to type in, what is my name? Okay, and you got to make sure you space. See, we don't even have that, and that's what I was telling you. I was like, what am I going to do? You know, Obviously, I can't type. Otherwise, we couldn't afford it. I mean, we don't have a dime to our savings. So, that would have happened. We wouldn't what? Get $250, $500 to the state to help burn us? That's it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then when we were like, it, is, we were talking, it doesn't normally take this long. I've just got big fat fingers. Like this isn't a puck, this is me, when they being a klutz, house, and being a lousy typer. Okay, so I've got, what is my name if you see? Alright, so I'm going to hit enter, see the enter button up there, I'm going to hit that. Now, the thing I've noticed, I keep getting those over and over. I assure you my name is not any of those. So the real the real priority is going to be when um, uh, probably when um, um, when we get into a dark environment, actual haunted, suspected haunted location. Um, so all in all, <clears throat> the puck is really a good device. Uh, the Paranormal Puck too. I, I think it's an up and coming device. Now, I was promised to show you the buttons. These are your buttons. Okay. I think the Paranormal Puck 2 is going to be a piece of gold. Uh, like everything else that Bill Chapel makes, it's incredible. He is a very dedicated individual that puts love into everything he does, I can tell you. And, you know, I was like, oh my God, will they hurry up and release it, you know? But he was working out the bugs, you know, and I understand that. They actually redid the design. Uh, it was rounded, and they sheared off the top so the sensors would work. Um, if you look at any of his devices that he doesn't make anymore, they sell for a fortune. They really do. Um, they're nothing but gold. I mean, he, he, everything he touches is incredible. He doesn't make any bad know, bad junk. It's still, it's still a lot of companies do. He doesn't. You know, <clears> so if you can get a puck, jump on it. Paranormal puck too. Um, 
It's in pre-release right now. It's still got a couple bugs. But I just, as soon as I installed this the other day, I already got a patch from uh, Google Play. Um, their support is incredible. Um, they actually send me, sent me this. Uh, now, that doesn't seem like much. But it actually tells you quite awfully how to get in there, how to register it, how to do everything. Um, support and everything. So it's really, really top notch. You cannot beat it with a stick. I, I encourage everybody to support Bill Chapel. Uh, he's a very nice guy. The fact he answered my email himself just speaks to me volumes. Um, and see, it says connections broken. And I'm searching for devices. So, um, again, that's my phone. This phone, I actually, um, it's an old, old phone. So they're actually going to try to support Android Fire. The one thing he told me that I did not know, the Android Fire is not 100% Android. I, I didn't, Amazon Fire, not Android, Amazon Fire is not 100% Android. I did not know that. He taught me something. So he's a very nice guy. If you have any questions, please send them to me. Um, we can be reached at Ghostly Concerns. Um, on Facebook, gcpir.n.m is in Mary, um, at gmail.com. We're also part a proud member of SWAP, which is Southwestern Associate for Monitoring the Paranormal. If you have any hauntings, we have teams in Texas, Colorado. We have teams all over. Uh, Arizona. Uh, our people are incredible. They are probably the best in the field. Um, I'm not a little partial, but yeah, I guess I probably am. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to trying the puck out on uh, an actual investigation, see how it works. I don't know as far as like battery life and everything like that, how long it's going to last. Time will tell. Um, I'm a big fan of Obelisk. I know that's questionable. But I've had it do some things that are actually pretty accurate. To give you an idea, before I close, the one up in Michigan, um, I was skeptical about the puck, the original puck. And Mark had me type some questions, and it answered questions that it shouldn't have known. Now, in its defense, it did spit out other words that had no relevance that I know of. That's the key word. That I know of. I wasn't familiar with the location it may have. So, anyway, um, that's the puck, Paranormal Puck 2, my review. Wonderful tool, up and coming piece of equipment. Everything Bill Chapel does is incredible. If you have any questions about it or email it, or if you have a specific question, uh, you can email Bill direct. He'll respond to you. Um, he's a very nice guy. I don't know him personally, wish I did, but he seems like a guy that you could almost go down and, hey, let's go get a beer and he'd go watch sports with you or a family guy, I can, I can almost guarantee you. So take care. God bless. Hope to see you on uh, YouTube and uh, some of our investigations watching us. Uh, keep on our Facebook. We've got an up and coming one soon. I'm going to be releasing residential. We did here in Clovis, uh, probably within the next two weeks. That's an interesting one. It erased all of our clear images on our thermal imager. So take care and God bless.